Okay guys, today we're talking about fractals and I'm sure I made several fractal videos in the past and I just wanted to kind of get this off my chest um, because this is kind of aggravating. Um, the guild I'm trying to run and Guild Wars 2 are trying to build is going to be a fractal based guild. So these are things that kind of like limit my situation and my joy of the game. Um, being still fractals is such a large part of the game for me and I absolutely adore it. It sucks that it's hard for me to introduce new players to fractals and mainly it's because of the agony resist. Um, I'm to a point now where I kind of feel that the agony resistance in fractals is kind of redundant. Um, I don't feel that it needs to be in fractals at all and I know a lot of veteran players are going to come in and probably comment down below like oh you know this and that whatever but the truth is guys I get tons and tons of messages you know whether it's on discord or comments of videos asking for guides how to get into fractals what is what do a new player do a new player doesn't do fractals it's just not new player friendly. It's the only game mode in the whole game that requires you to have ascended gear um, just for infusions. Now there's some exotic sets in the game that you can get your hands on that have those infusion marks on them, but like none of this stuff is easy for a new player to get a hold of. It's going to take time. That's why I don't feel comfortable with making a video saying, hey, new players, if you want to do fractals, do this. I mean, you'll be able to do some tier one fractals, right? But as time as time goes on, you know, and you're still stuck on tier ones because you're waiting so long to be able to farm gold and get your ascended sets or ascended accessories, whatever can try to push you into tier two and don't even think about tier three and four. For a new player i know people that have been playing the game for over a year and some people from launch that still don't have the agony requirements to do tier four and they don't uh, it's not that it's super hard for them to get because they've been playing the game for a long time so obviously they have resources it's just that you know when they play with their newer friends or whatever they will never go past tier two fractals and it's sad and the main reason i feel that it's sad is because raids don't require any agony resistance at all okay and raids by far outweigh fractals rewards by a mile like you know you when you're doing raids you're working towards um completing a legendary set and you're getting a lot more ascended drops and stuff that you would normally get in fractals um fractals is just overall a, a pain um, not only was Fractals the last game mode to actually get a full exotic set um, able to be a achieved in Fractals, but um, it's also locked behind these things called pages. Now, as a, for a veteran player, pages don't really like, um, you know, a lot of veteran players don't look at pages as like a time gated type situation. But for a new player, it's going to take you a very long time of doing those tier one and uh, tier one fractals, you know, just to be able to get that ascendant set. You're going to have to get your ascendant set some other way because fractals is just not not a, not an option. Really, I feel for new players, I feel like for veteran players, it's OK. Um, another thing I feel is you know, PVP, okay, they, the developers at one point um, tried to get more people interested in to structure PVP, I guess, to try to make it one of the main platforms um, of the game. And what happened was they added a Ascendant set to that mode. And it, it, I guess they didn't, it wasn't hard enough or um, enough challenge so a lot of people felt was angry because they felt that it was too easy to get ascended sets and i could understand that in a pv um a people because the pvp set doesn't really require much it doesn't require as much work as like fractals like getting the pvp stuff is easy people can just about afk pvp farm which a lot of people do which is sad i don't recommend that at all i, I you know the one thing i hate you know, I hate more than anything is going into structured PvP and having someone AFK inside of the PvP place or pretend like they're doing something, but they're actually not doing anything except for running around in circles. That's very discouraging and it makes you not want to PvP at all. 
but what happened was they end up adding these marks to the vendor so you would have to level up your crafting and also get these marks so now there is no way to get ascended gear in the game other than a random box drop or you know yeah basically a random box drop drop um then crafting so you'll have to craft now and get your crafting profession up to max level and a lot of people like that but um i feel that it's variety i feel like who are you or whatever to tell someone else you know oh this makes the game more fun i mean that's more opinionated if anything you know it's all about option having those options there and letting players choose how they would like to acquire their gear and if somebody doesn't want to craft to get their ascendant set you know there should be another option for them but and and fractals could have been that option for people fractals could have been that gateway for people to get ascended gear to go into raiding afterwards but you know like i said getting the frac the fractals ascended set is just it's 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 too much time you know i can't imagine someone working a a job even a part-time job or whatever and trying to farm what they need or whatever to get the fractals ascended set it just fractals just doesn't make sense right now to me um just because of that and fractals is the only game mode that actually needs ascended gear um people raid and complete just about all raid content with um exotic gear and <laughs> you know it's just it's just kind of silly to me and, and to this day it's funny because world versus world has a legendary set that people can get and I mean, Raid has one, and I mean, Fractals has none. I mean, they have, and when I bring this up, a lot of people like to talk about the wings that you get from Fractals, and they're beautiful wings. They're, oh my goodness, I love those wings. I'm actually working on those wings um, currently. But my whole, to, to, long story short, guys, Fractals just doesn't have the rewards. It's not new player friendly and it's not in-game pve content um and it it is in-game pve pve content because of the requirements and stuff like that in the gear check situation but as far as rewards go it's a waste of time and it, it's sad to say that but i don't know a way to help newer players get into fractals more or into pve more um than just abolishing the whole infusion system at least an infusion system that has to do with agony resistance like agony resistance there's just i just don't really see a place for it at all in fractals anymore it's just not worth it and so much more people would play fractals and fractals would actually gain uh, um a, a lot of you know momentum if they were to do something like that and another thing that's sad is because fractals does have a lot of content it has like you know what i mean like um i would guess that probably like 50 to 60 percent of players never even done a tier 4 fractals before and that's kind of sad because there's so much content but they every time you go to the window there's only about two groups two three groups in every you know tier of fractals so and it's not like the the devs or anything like that have forgot about fractals because you know clearly new fractals are still being made just about every major um update which i definitely appreciate but for new players out there i'm sorry guys i don't really know what to tell you guys i would just like it's fractals is just something i can't recommend for new players just because it just doesn't really offer you guys very much at all i'm sorry um yeah this podcast was um kind of short and I know I rambled a little bit into it or whatever, but um, I hope you guys kind of understand the points that I was trying to get across. And, you know, for a anyone from Arena Net that that's listening to this video, understand that, you know, I'm not trying to attack you guys or anything. I'm just simply making suggestions and giving you guys my opinion. Um, you just have to take it how it how it is, you know, you know, you, you take the goods with the bads. You guys have a blessed day.